Hello everyone, today we will be talking about Slovenia. The Republic of Slovenia is a country in Central Europe. It is bordered by Italy to the west, Austria to the north, Hungary to the northeast, Croatia to the southeast, and Slovenia is located in a land with full of forests and mountains. Its population is 2.1 million. Slovenes are the majority of the country's population. South Slavic language is the official language. Slovenia has historically been the crossroads of Slavic, Germanic and Romance languages and cultures. That's why it has close relationship with them. In 1945, it became a founding member of Yugoslavia. And in June 1991, Slovenia became the first republic that split from Yugoslavia and became an independent state. Slovenia's name means the land of the Slovenes. Slovenia is a parliamentary democracy republic with a multi-party system. The head of the state is the president who is elected by popular vote. The capital city of Slovenia is Ljubljana. Bite-sized dumplings and bursting with all manner of exotic fillings is the most popular dish of Slovenia. Slovenia obtained its independence in 1991 after the fall of Yugoslavia and to avoid risks that might come from USSR, they applied to join the EU and NATO. The economic structure of the Slovenia before the communist regime was mostly dependent on agriculture. After the innovations made by the communist parties, the heavy industry of iron and steel making took its place pretty quickly. While these changes were showing its results in the economic welfare level of Slovenia, also the politicians and economy ministers have made some significant changes in the policies which stabilized the economy in Slovenia. After their entry to the European Union, there are not too much specific changes in Slovenia since all the significant changes were made before their application to the European Union. The period of preparation to the European Union made Slovenian people um made Slovenian people to get used to it. Therefore, afterwards of their acceptance to the European Union in 2004, we cannot see a European Union shock in Slovenia. Their population and market is pretty low. The long-term strategic goal of Slovenia with the European Union uh, made Slovenian economy to be more related with the European Union zone countries. Today, it's known that almost 70% of the products that the Slovenian people produce are sold to European Union. This transition of cultures and economic welfare between the European Union and Slovenia had, had many inner points which are good and bad in long term. Those instant and correct changes gave its results before they accepted to the European Union and increased the welfare level of Slovenian people.